I'm recording here. So 208, got a pimple on the very tip of my nose. <laughs> I have notes for a press conference. Okay, let's discuss. All right, so I was just getting into it a little bit with someone in the comments. Mm -hmm. Someone wrote like, and I'm paraphrasing, they were like, um, like, you guys should really stop doing these reaction videos if you're gonna like condone toxic masculinity. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. But then I started getting into that with them and I was sarcastic, which I apologize for. And then I had another discussion with someone else that was good. And then the first person got like rude and I mm -hmm. erased it. And I'm just, I wanna get ahead of the story and it made me, think of a lot of things because the show is, I guess, like triggering for a lot of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I made some notes. Okay. Um, are you okay? Yes, totally fine. Okay. I'm... Should I sit up a little bit? I want to hear all the notes. Okay. Um, first and foremost, everyone has a right to their own opinion. A hundred percent. Like this is stuff that's happening to other people. We weren't there. We don't know the ins and outs, so everyone is welcome to their own opinion, mm -hmm. even if it disagrees with mine. With ours, yeah. And even though, like, I think I've said this before, that I was there, like, I was around filming, I wasn't part of this social scene. I wasn't close friends with everyone, so I really don't know exactly what happened. Number two, don't be nasty to each other in the comments. I saw someone coming at Capri, oh, who no. was lovely, was just not being very nice. You can diff you can have difference of opinion in the comments, but try and be nice. And I have been guilty of not being nice, mm -hmm. so I apologize, mm -hmm. I really do. I think that goes back to just not being reactive. One of the things that I talked about um, as being one of my resolutions for the new year was to not be as reactive. So when you see something triggering, like take a deep breath and think about how you really want to respond to it before you just write back the first thing that pops into your mind, which is usually something a little bit more aggressive and angry. On that, very well said. On that note, I am quitting the comments I, mean? well, I just. Quitting I, the comments. I know, I'm, I'm quitting the comments. I, I, ha, I don't have a very healthy relationship with the comments going right now, like I'm looking too often. It's more of a tracking how the videos are doing yeah. um, and like interacting with people, but it's, ta it's taking away from my real life. So I'm gonna look at the comments maybe once a week in a chunk. But also, like, some of my comments are reactive. Uh -huh, and, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, it, you just want a healthier relationship with that. I just, I, like, I don't want to be a part of this show's drama. I want mm. to sit on the sideline and make fun videos mm -hmm, about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And that's a really hard line to toe. And, yeah. like, people are, like, sucking me into it because and they're putting wanna... me on the Heidi Spencer side. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you're, and you're also feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time and that can be a little bit exhausting too. Probably. It is exhausting. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't go and fight with six strangers yeah. at a time. Yeah. I just can't do it. Yeah. Um, About something that neither of you know what actually happened. Um, number four, we have no agenda or allegiances. Like, no, no, no. We have friendships with all of the people involved. I'm friends with Lauren. I'm friends with Heidi and Spencer. I'm friends with Audrina. I'm friends with everyone. We aren't here like trying to defend one or the other or root for someone. It was yeah, as a matter of fact, game. we're trying to stay in the middle. Yeah. And just be loyal to objectivity. I promise. There's no like, uh, there's no secret agenda. Okay. No, just, just to comment on what we've feel like is about truth and justice you know like what you always say like you, we're just commenting on based on what we've seen what we think boom yes and um not finishing but go ahead my notes could have been ordered better this is i have another note that's that's more apropos of what you were just saying but i'm just gonna go in order okay this is meant to be fun mm -hmm. um like <laughs> <laughs> enough said um Another one, number six maybe, I lost count. Because um, you only put dashes, not numbers. Next time I'll do numbers. Yeah. But what happened was I spaced them out and then I, I'll explain later. Okay. Um, number six, Spencer, this is gonna be triggering I think, but tell me what okay. you think. Okay. okay. I think for a lot of people, 
because this show is so popular during so many people's formative years that Spencer has become the personification of bad male behavior. Mm -hmm. And not everyone, but maybe some people are connecting um, things that happen to them in their life with their feelings for Spencer mm -hmm. and not looking at the situation as objectively as mm -hmm, possible. Mm -hmm. That's definitely possible. Oh, back to like, we don't know. We don't know. Um, a lot of people told me in the comments that the Lauren and Brody romance wasn't really real, which changes sort of the Jen hooking up with him dynamic, especially if Jen Bunny knew that the that relationship it wasn't, real. wasn't real. Yeah. Um, and then also I heard that the Jen Brody thing wasn't real. Wasn't real either. Uh, Who who's saying all this stuff though? The How people do in people, the comments. And that they just know from like other interviews yes, or they're, piecing things yes, together. They're, I would not blow up any spots like that. They're saying from interviews that Lauren already gave. She never the thing with Brody wasn't real. Like Brody has said it. They're, they're quoting, and I'm not following up. I uh -huh. really can't uh -huh. <laughs> track down uh -huh. every source. So uh -huh. correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, people are like uh, Jen Bunny like totally said on a podcast that 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 like she never hooked up with Brody. So, okay. so like, I'm just putting that out there. None of us know. Like, there, there's a lot of mystery. The last thing I want to say about Spencer, sort of, is let's judge each show or comment on each show based on where we are at right now. We know some things that go on to happen, but they haven't uh -huh. happened now. So, right. like, we can't hold anyone accountable for things that they haven't done yet. That's very true. That's very, very true. All right. Well, thank you for hearing airing of the grievances. Yes. All right, here we go. Previously on The Hills. Did you see what I got you for your birthday, buddy? My friendship with Heidi was at a breaking point mm -hmm. after she and Spencer hooked Jen up with Brody. He's a sucky person. Boring. I'm never going to like Spencer. He did a really oh, right. messed up thing okay. last night. I was willing to give it one last chance. But this time, it was really up to Heidi. I love you. I'm sorry if I've been hurting you. You don't have to like... stop being best friends, but something has to change. And now I was about to be reminded that actions speak louder than words. What if we go to Santa Guess what I was thinking is that if someone, someone else made this point in the comments, but I don't disagree with it, mm -hmm. that if Lauren and Brody were not a real thing, is it that bad for Spencer and Heidi to be like, hook up with Jen? Jen. No. And like, is it that bad for Brody to hook up with Jen? No, but no, but why would she have to keep it a secret? Like, it, why would she have to keep it from Lauren that whole night at the club? Because it was because they knew the storyline for the TV. For it wasn't out that it, that the Lauren and Brody romance was just for the show. That's what's going on here. The third storyline. Who story knows? Line. Who knows though that it's fake? Who knows? Who knows that Brody and Lauren don't really like, like each Lauren other? Like Lauren and Brody know they don't really like each other. Jen probably, or I don't know. Heidi and Spencer probably know. Brody was probably like, yeah, we just did it for the show. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least that would explain their behavior. I don't know what anyone knew. Mm-hmm. We can get away, just you and me. I really need to start spending more time with Lauren, though. You need more time for what? Like to spend together. I don't see her that much. You have a roommate that looks at me like the plague. I mean, I honestly, I really. Oh, there's that, that face. Look. When there's a little more time, she's just going to be like, look, I accept this. Whatever. All these people need to stop worrying about us dating. His chain. Also, like, just eating muffins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How cute are you today? Come on, let's just go to Santa Barbara. ADR? Yeah, kind of. Mm. Oh, let's go. Mm. Oh. You want to go? Yeah. Uh. Staring at the blank page. Did he say holler at the end there? No. Uh, cop song copyrighted. I don't really know. Um, the, the people who say don't sing, there's been two out, F of, out of like two million. Yeah, like those are real trolls. Okay. But these, uh, but other people who have a different opinion on me about Lauren are not trolls at all, and I don't want to equate them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two different types of people are not trolls. Right. Ruminate the words that you cannot find, reaching for something in, in the, the distance. distance. Close, you can almost taste the fruitless, your inhibitions, feel the rain on your yeah. skin. No one else can paint the for oh. you, only you can land up there. Yeah. No one else, what? no one else can yeah. keep the words on your lips. 
Oh, switch it. Uh -huh. your life with uh -huh. what up and today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. You're gonna wake up, Sunny. You are so crazy, dude. Whitney, um, that's exactly what this episode needed. And I want to just explain the last two voices you did. One was dying like Southern lady, which I loved. And then the other one was kind of like alien, which I also loved. And I just want to say, you can not only sing in funny voices, but you can you have an amazing voice too. So you're crazy. I'm You're not crazy. crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Enough is enough. I need a snack so badly. It's crust. It's crust. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I didn't quite spit it out. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. This is the dress Hi. I wanted to find. Oh. Are okay, you okay, so. Are you wearing nothing under underneath? No bra, just underpants. Okay, get ready to cream your effing jeans. <laughs> I'm glad you went um, for a cream jeans. First of all, look at those tulips and look at that vase. I totally have like that exact thing. The tape is being a little bit crinkly. I'm worried about the sound. Do you want to adjust it? Yeah, let me just oh. get Staring, I'll oh, distract him. At the blank page before you open up the dirty land. All right. The sun and so, moon, oh, take the words and you can find it. Reaping for someone in the tail still. So close we can almost taste it. Release our inhibition. Smell the rain on your skin. Nice. And now I'm proudly Cooper. No one else can feel it for you. Ooh, you're kind Only of. Only you can let it down. You're scaring me. You're kind of Kristen Wiig on SNL doing like like Bradley Cooper, or like the lady with the tiny arms. Okay, so this dress. So I was really into vintage clothes. I only Put that wanted on to go, a t-shirt. I only wanted to go vintage shopping because mm -hmm. I just really wanted something that no one else could ever have. Mm -hmm. So I found this dress and it was like ankle length. And I was like, oh, this is such a great dress. It was drawstring, halter top, tie around here, shortened it, the coolest print ever. Oh Wish God. I had it. Think, Where I is think it? It's in my, I think it's in our house in Missouri. Missouri. Get ready. Here I come. It's spring and I'm in fall. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, like, you're do that. going to be working with Lauren Howe. She does mostly Vogue, but she covers for Teen Vogue and Men's Vogue as well. She's very particular, she's very precise. She's somebody that you will learn a lot from if you pay attention. Okay. Okay? You're going to do this young Los Angeles real children shoot. I think Carlos has got um, about three or four lined up, but if you have anyone young, 15, 16, Jane. I have a younger sister who's a senior in high school. I mean, she looks like she would fit kind of the prototype of the Teen Vogue really girl. And maybe she's she can a come prototype. in and meet us and, and uh, we can Actually not Polaroid good use of I know, I'm like, does that make sense? She do that? Prototype is like um, first, right? Like I mean, The prototype of is your like invention. the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe she is the original L girl. <laughs> the original Teen Vogue girl. What show are we watching? We're watching the hills and we are watching the hills. Okay, yeah, thank okay. You. she would love to, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll she would love to. How that works out. Okay. <gasps> this is thank so you exciting. Bye. You look so pretty. Thank you. Okay, Lisa loves back to her Can Blackbird. You oh, Jade we gets have it? So my dress is totally ba backless. At the time, I was really into these weird fruity drinks. What were they? We'll Let's out. find out. I know, I hope she does. Have you ever worked with Lauren before? I don't think so. I know I've met her before. I hope that she's not like Who's Lauren as strict she's as a stylist. making her out to be, you know? She, did, she worked for Vogue. <laughs> and Anna Wintour, you know. It's one thing to work for Vogue, it's another thing to work for Anna Wintour, so. I mean, it's the same thing, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you, um, well, yeah, maybe you're like, you don't always work directly for her. Right. I wonder okay. how many I worked on. How long did he work for W? I worked for them, I think, three summers. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you did this for two years? Yeah. You're probably so over it. I'm just ready to have, like, more responsibility than just, like, steaming. Hi, girls. Hey. Hi. 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 Lauren, how? I just wanted to go over a few quick things. Oh, that is We've her? got yeah. kind of a big shoot. There's six kids. 
which just means a lot of clothes, a lot of people, and I need you guys to be really, really organized. I don't want everyone to be on top of each other. Everything has to be yeah. returned the next day. Oh, nothing can God. come back dirty, nothing can come back with holes in it, with tags missing, all that. We'll just have to be really... <laughs> First of all, put your tongue back in your mouth. But yeah, second of all, look at you. You're so nice. <laughs> Be organized, getting one kid dressed while we're shooting another one. Have everything steamed. I mean, that's kind of a yeah. thing for me. If I grab a dress that hasn't been steamed and, you know, you guys have been standing there, that's kind of, you know, a problem. So the call time will be 9, so we'll all need to get there at 8. Okay, thanks, See you then, bye. Sure. Mm. I'll steam. You'll steam? I'll steam. Thank you. I don't mind. I've done enough steaming in my interning career. I'm sure you have. I didn't realize you'd done five years. It's crazy. I'm just ready to be something other than like someone's intern, you know? Mm. Yeah. Did someone give you that line? Yeah, I think we probably talked. I don't think they gave me that line, but I think there was a discussion before of like, this is going to be a moment for you to talk about right. what's next. This like is your, your future. Story. Yeah. Hmm. That's shit on the floor. <laughs> That's shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You doing some homework? Mm-hmm. Look at you. I so she's still in school. What? Where'd this other bedroom? I'm confused. What about the... Hody. Hey, yo. Hody? Hi. Hey. What are you doing? Um, I think I'm going to Santa Barbara for a couple days. Or for like, until Sunday. Oh. Yeah, and her hair is uh, all oh, different now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, she, this feels like early Heidi. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's just wavy, and I'm being... Mm. Now, <laughs> Stepping in, I think just um, tonight and tomorrow night. Um, do you want to come to Santa Barbara? Who you want to Santa Barbara with? Spencer. Do you think I want to go to Santa Barbara? No, but I'm just putting out the invitation. Oh. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So... Monday evening, we should have a whole Heidi and Lauren alone night. Uh, yeah. Like, we can go get our nails done and get massages. <laughs> Good times. Um, I think I'm gonna get out of here. We'll get out of here. Shall we go? <laughs> yeah. Call me if you need anything ever, any time of the night. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. What are your feelings? Um, I just, I, I don't, there was never like a discussion about letting Heidi off the hook for the Jen Bunny situation. I think she said it in the previously on. Okay, so then they must have just had that conversation. Um, it's just their, their friendship is imploding. Right. I mean, and... I, I feel like that scene definitely had some editing to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but like hard to imagine editing Lauren being so, um... Frustrated and annoyed? Yeah, I mean like she's saying everything's cool but she seems upset. Yeah, everything's not cool. Um, okay. Who the Grove. Where's Heidi? She's in Santa Barbara all weekend with Spencer. I didn't tell you. Chris is this guy who works with me at Epic Records. Mm -hmm. He asked me out Friday night after work, so we went and we played pool and had drinks. Mm -hmm. Such an ugly Love Three it. roommates, and one of them's single. So if you want to come with me and meet him. It's kind of sad. I'm like, who's that friend? Chris it's like, well, maybe they'll have a friend for you. That's he's not... So nice. like he's... That's not like a bad thing to be, to be like... You think it is? No, no I completely to be this agree with young you. and be like, oh, I have a friend. You want to meet him? Like, that's not a bad thing to be. It's not like any other guy that I've dated. Sorry. It's, it's, music. it's a good it's a thing. Guy, guy, you know what I mean? I had those sunglasses and white. Stop. Wow. The ones that Audrina are wearing. No. Do you want to get? Just as long as it's like a group thing, not like a double date sit down. No, offer. it'll be a group thing. That okay. sounds so cool. I'm kind of excited. What about Brody though? Eh. That was ADR. Yeah. Audrina asking about Brody did not happen yeah. there. Real song? Ooh. <laughs> God, I hope that's me and you. <laughs> oh my God, that's a dolphin or a shark. Oh my God, what is that? 
They're called dolphins, Heidi. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god both of them. Yeah, Roll them so up, relaxing. dude. I promise you, Lauren. Oh my god, Wait. they're so way too long. Someone was like a, um, a cutaway of his jeans. Not be going back to hang out with Heidi. She was dating Jason and her and Jason were in Santa Barbara. She would call Heidi and be like, yo, Heidi, um, I'm gonna stay with my boyfriend. And you'd be like, okay, see you Monday. You are True. so yes. right. I love Santa Barbara. Okay. Sounds like a, seems like a lovely walk. Yeah, what, what's not to love? <laughs> Here's Lauren. Hey. Oh, Whitney, should we discuss the hat on your head? Can we please get a shot of your outfit? I will rewind till I can see the you? decals on your hat. Is it like a panda theme of some sort? <laughs> Panda? You know those hats that are like also animal heads? Yes. That, that, that people wear to like fish concerts. I don't know. They're like long. <laughs> yes. Hey. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh -oh. So who, who in your family made you that hat? I have no <laughs> clue, but I definitely probably got it for the holidays. How are you? Good. Oh. T-G-I-F. <laughs> oh my God. It's Friday. Stands for. Are you going out? Oh my God, I have, um, me and Adriana have a double date tonight. Oh my God. Did you tell you about that guy Chris you worked with? No. He like, I don't know who Adriana is. <laughs> His name's Blake and he's a hockey player and that's all I know. But I saw pictures of you. I believe Jade is in there right now Jade. meeting with Lisa. Ah, that's so yeah. exciting. Thank you. <gasps> Good luck. Thank you. Oh my God, Jadey poops. Are they gonna show her? <gasps> Hello. What? Guess what? Oh my god, Jay. I got it! Oh my god! <laughs> Can you just tell us? Oh my god! How, uh, like, you like, you went home and you told Jade she's gonna be on the show. Like, what happened? Yeah, Jade. so I said that she had to come in for like a casting with Lisa Love because they were doing this photo shoot in Teen Vogue. Um, and so she got all dressed up and like well, she's had an so interview. Excited. She was beyond excited. That's yeah. That's cute. That's really sweet. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm nervous. But That's I'm something nervous. Oh, she's nervous okay, right so now. The reject pile's not even going cute, cute, cute. Hi. Hi, Hi. girls. Hi. This is my little sister, Jade. Hi, Jade. This, this is Hi. Nice to meet you. If you guys can just sort of keep track once we try things Cali on, girls. remember which rack it goes back to. Let me just have Jade try this on and we'll find mm -hmm. some oh, yeah. gems for you. There's Carlos. So guys, the Carlos. other thing is they're changing back there. So if mm -hmm. we could just make sure all the clothes, it's there. It's starting to get a bit messy. Okay. So just so we keep order so we can remember. Okay, Lauren. Like I know some producer just told like told you to give me a hard time. Like uh, I know, but I wish I, I wish that I reacted a little bit better. Though. Like more Like profet. knew that and had a better attitude about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's so silly. Like I wouldn't have reacted well. Like it's so silly. Every one of these tasks, they get someone else to come in and be a big deal, which is cool that they have access, but then they're like, go, go, to, to go like, you know, give the girls a hard time, like make it feel like they Yeah, it's like, but it's, it's, but can I just say it's yeah, also sorry. hard because your job really is filming and there's stuff that comes with that too and like walk-ups and things you have to talk about and like scenes you have to get and whatever so you kind of you can't you, you can't be like fully committed to your internship because mm -hmm. really I'm sorry to say but like you're getting paid mm -hmm. for, for a different, to be on a TV show. A different show. job that you can never talk about. Exactly. It's very strange. Yes. And I, I, I really think that it that is it is what at, is at play more than anything else in terms of the interpersonal relationships mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people jockeying for position that's the motivation on the show behind certain people's actions not, not yours you're yeah. i think you understood your role and you were just mm -hmm. like happy to play it but everyone mm -hmm. else is like at least so far they're right like, let me like, get up in there let me get up in there and how's this gonna make me look totally. and, understandable yeah. too i'm not yeah. saying i wouldn't be that way either yeah totally well, that's you what weren't. you do when you sign up to be on a reality show, and that's why I couldn't last on a reality show. Well, you didn't do it, which is right. why people think you're amazing because you are. But I'm saying I'm—I would have done. I probably would have fell into the same trap. You're better than I am. Mm. 
you know, I think. Well, you, Agreed. Cause the, so that's the reason why you wouldn't do reality TV. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to escape the jockeying for, I'd be like, I need to be the star. No, I don't think you'd have to be the star, but I think that you would feel like you needed to like d defend yourself at some point I or get involved. I couldn't like, you have couldn't, a discussion with someone with a, with a producer being like, oh, and don't, don't, like, if you're mad at her for something she did about the show, you can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. I would be like, no. Mm -hmm. You want to play instruments? Your lead I'm singer. My musician. It'll be fun tonight. Like, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I want to see if you like Blake or not. He's a hockey player. He's, yeah, he's that's kind of hot, right? Yes. That he's a hockey player. It's like the best part of a hockey game is like they fight. Like they're tough guys. Yeah, he's tough. He's tough. You know he's not a wussy if he plays hockey. Uh, that's like Why kind of the worst you? part for me. I'm like, no, please stop, stop it. It's bad. It's kind of your all fault. fault. It'll be fun. I can't wait. You'll end up making out with Blake by the end of the day. <laughs> I just want to meet my Prince Charming. I remember when you took me to a hockey game in New York and for the first time I saw how much they fought and I was like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Also the game that we went to, they dropped the puck in, in the first period and the left wing on one team and the right wing on the other team just started fighting. Like, yeah, it like was they had beef from a previous game. It was very special. I'm Let's sure. talk about this. Let's hockey talk about players. this sweatshirt. How Inside of guys. the peacoat. Oh my god, I didn't like that one. I did that. What's going on? Sure. Ooh. 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 Hi, Lauren. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah. so formal. Shaking hands. Oh, he must be hot as balls. How are you guys? Good. Good. So nice. I've never been here before. Yeah, yeah. No. neither of us. Have you guys? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> This place is awesome. Yeah, I like it. It's awesome, dude. Shit, the f***ing ceiling here. <laughs> They're set up. Yeah. Oh, Arnardo doesn't like it. So, me and this guy, we've known each other since like sixth grade. Really? Yeah. You guys right. Middle school. school. Together. Yeah. Where are you from? Agora uh, Hills, like a half hour up north. Where are you guys from? I grew up in Orange County. So We're in Orange County. Uh, Laguna Beach. Yeah. My parents rented a uh, place down in Laguna Beach this last summer. Really? So I was down there, yeah. It's nice, huh? LA is the place to be. Do you guys want to get an appetizer? Like we trying to be get our own stuff. Yeah, and then LA is the place Maybe to be. Like that was <laughs> some French fries Lauren's and some dessert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cheers, by the way. Cheers. 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 This is nice making me you. feel very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. I mean, so she won't even make eye contact. The other night I was in here, and I ran into that guy Spencer. Oh. Who's oh. yeah. oh, Spencer? He's the guy that... <laughs> My roommate's boyfriend. Oh, really? Oh, so Sounds like he's a great guy. <laughs> so they are, uh, like, dating seriously again? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys really not like him? Perfect. Anyways. I wonder if they have one of those dessert trays, like, where they come... Is, he, is Spencer going to be out later? I don't... Maybe, I don't know. Is that what they said? I don't understand. No, they they said that they had seen him at a club and that's that that was their way of bringing him up. Oh, but he's not going to bring it up. But the conversation later. didn't go anywhere and now they're just talking about the dessert trays again because all this guy wants is dessert. <laughs> he's like, they got dessert here? They got chandeliers and dessert. <laughs> I'm show you everything you know. You can ask. Well, I'm gonna ask. As soon as the guy comes back. So, I'm kind of over my meal, I kind of just want dessert. I kind of do too. Oh, uh, meaning she wants it to be over. Ugh. I'm sure she I feel would. Like Sorry, you go. He, he is like, I want to get out of here, and she's Girls, like, I want so to nice see you. Hey, we'll figure it out. Guys, we should go to Cafe Sushi. We'll do it. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. Bye. 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 Definitely. Bye. Have a good have night. A good night. <sighs> I didn't ask her enough. Mm -hmm. I've all put that down as a successful. Day. Really? You do not seem interested. It seemed like he was going to ask you for your number, but he kind of like... He asked if we wanted to go out again. That's good. Yeah, he wants to go out. He seemed like he was into you. Yeah. I feel like we're getting the hang of this. Totally. I feel like I'm getting better at dating. Thanks for setting me up, Andrea. Andrea's right? like, what date was I on? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Oh, I'm just sorry. Like drinking a Red Bull in the front seat. Are we at the end? Were we meant to believe that that date went well or bad? Uh, I, that's for us to Interpret? determine. I think. Okay. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, I took it as it went bad. I thought he liked her and she wasn't into him. That's the, that's yeah, what I got from too. it. Yeah. Me too. I wish I could have 
we do either pick up Jade or she's gonna meet us there. Jade's gonna meet us there. Okay. Yeah. She's so excited, huh? Yeah, she's so excited. Hello? Hi, it's Heidi. What are you doing? I'm driving with Whitney to a photo shoot that we have to do. Are we still on for the night? Yeah. Are you back? No, I'm coming back tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think the shoot's going too late, so maybe like. Seven-ish, I'll probably get off, and then I'll just go back to the apartment. Do you want to just meet me there? Okay. Sure so we'll do dinner then? Okay. I remember those wrap bracelets Lauren's wearing were like all the rage. So just like one strand, and you got special charms. Heidi <laughs> never came with Santa Barbara. Like that. Um, behind the scenes. Yesterday. You'll see her later. It's just like weird, like having to like schedule dinners with her. Like, it used to be, like I every know. Single day we were together. It's one of those things that when it means that much to you, then you make the effort. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Mm, Lauren's saying the opposite. She's saying it's weird that I have to schedule dinner with my best friend. Like, why can't we just always be having dinner? You have to schedule dinner with your best friend sometimes. Like, you can't always be having dinner. Right, if she's traveling and you have a job. Well, yeah, and that's just I mean, like, of course. Goes. I'm sorry not to be Especially too harsh on Lauren, but, boyfriend. like, I'm not... My, I, my contention is that, like, Lauren, it, it, the the the... Heidi isn't making time for Lauren's storyline does not hold water for me because I don't think Lauren cares that much. And so all this stuff about her being like, oh, it just sucks. It she, like we have to schedule dinner even though they're having dinner together. It all doesn't ring true mm -hmm. because Lauren doesn't really care. See, I don't, that's why I disagree with you. Totally fair, I, totally I, fair. I do think that she cares, but I just think that she's like so but then she's getting frustrated and annoyed with her. That she's and like getting jealous. upset about things that she really shouldn't get upset about. She shouldn't be upset that Heidi called and said, let's have dinner at seven o'clock. This whole, we shouldn't have to make a plan thing doesn't hold water. I feel like Lauren feels a little bit tossed aside and she, she doesn't she, like, like misses that she's, her best friend. She misses her best friend. She doesn't like that she like started this whole life with him, um, and that they're a big part of the show now, and that she doesn't really like Spencer very much, and they're monopolizing like this life that Lauren had envisioned for her, she and Heidi. See, and, I disagree. I don't yeah. think that Lauren really wanted to be best friends with Heidi, uh, and doesn't doesn't and wants to get away from her and doesn't like Spencer and looks at that as a great vehicle to be like, I'm, I'm done with this whole situation. I don't think she's upset that Heidi is scheduling dinner with her because that doesn't seem like something I would get upset about. And neither would you. You agree. I know, but that we're not her. Yeah, but I, I, I don't had. buy it. It seems disingenuous to me. I'm just not buying it. Okay. You're obviously allowed to have that feeling, just like everybody else is allowed to feel whatever they feel about it, right? Right. But I'm going to lay out a lot of evidence to support my theory because each time Lauren is upset about something Heidi did, it, it, it doesn't ring true to me or you. I mean, mm -hmm. this one didn't ring, ring true to you either. That she wasn't really upset? That, that, that Lauren should be upset about Heidi having to schedule dinner. You're like, people work, people go on trips. Like, Lauren, you shouldn't be upset. Okay. You want me to rewind? Yeah, rewind. Hello? Hi, it's Heidi, what are you doing? I'm driving with Whitney to a photo shoot that we have to do. Are we still on for the night? Yeah, are you back? No, I'm coming back tonight. Okay, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think the shoot's going too late, so maybe like, Seven-ish, I'll probably get off, and then I'll just go back to the apartment. Do you want to just meet me there? Okay. So we'll do dinner then? Okay. Great. Heidi never came home from Santa Barbara. <laughs> Heidi never came home from Santa Barbara? She was supposed to come back yesterday. <sighs> she was supposed to come back yesterday? So... <laughs> what? No, so I just listened to that, and I could tell the whole conversation was fake. Yeah. The whole conversation was fake. Heidi was saying lines... She said something different. She, uh, there was, uh, that wasn't, there's nothing to base off or base a real opinion off of, I don't think. Okay. I mean, I, it could be that this is a, a fake, a fake storyline and that's why Lauren is, is seeming so disingenuous to me because she's acting. She's yeah, literally acting out a fake storyline for us right now. And I'm sitting here being like, there must be something else going on. And there is, it's a fake storyline. Yeah, but I think there's something else where like she's not even aware of it, but it's being chopped up after the fact. Okay. You'll see her later. It's just like weird, like having to like schedule dinners with her. Like it used to be like I every know. single day we were together. It's one of those things that when it means that much to you, then you make the effort, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah.
No. <laughs> like that's why I think it's like weird. She's saying it's like it's like weird. Like we used to have dinner together all the time, and I still want to be doing that. And like now we have to schedule it. Like ugh, I'm so. Right, and I'm saying she doesn't have a right to be upset about that people schedule dinners all the time I don't think she has a right to be upset about that but I think because she really cares so I think she, because she's like so jealous and upset about I mean, maybe not jealous is the word but kind of of like their relationship that she's she gets petty and mad about that stuff no nah, it's it's I disagree not no but it, it, it's not real she's not she's not upset about this stuff and Heidi not being there for her anymore because they were never really that close. That's my point. But I, see, I hear, I totally hear your point. Oh, that's a meme, right? You and I. <laughs> well, it's from a part in the photo shoot. You'll see. Kevin Todd. <gasps> this house was so awesome. Hi. Hi, girls. How are you? Hi, Jane. How are you? Hi, Hello. Hello. So you guys, it's a really big day and I need to count on you guys. It's just us, okay? So Jade, why don't you go in the other room? Because I'm a model. Okay. Yeah. Kids. Okay. <laughs> you hired me. I'll Thank be you. in a minute. Okay. Whitney, like during the day, why don't you be with me? Just stay by my side. Okay. Have pins, tape, everything ready to go from the prop kit. Okay. Lauren, if you could just stay in here, make sure the kids are dressed for each, mm -hmm. each setup we do, okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. How was the date? Um, it was good. He's cute. Really? Mm -hmm. Good. Adrena's guy was chill too. Really? They were really like cool guys. They were like normal. You know what I mean? That's good. It's, it's like really refreshing to meet people like that here. Yeah. Whitney, mm -hmm. when you're putting stuff on the rack, all the hangers go this way mm -hmm. so that you see the front of the clothes when you're going through it. Mm -hmm. Fair. I should have been doing that, but you do that at like, home. Part of me, I think the. That wasn't what I did. Okay, How gorgeous she looks. Our first shot. Let's go. Oh, look at her hair. Juniper berries. What? Oh my god, <laughs> You want to take a picture? <laughs> it's wood nymph for sure. Because we have pins open and ready. This is I know that you're cold, but this is getting you really cold. You're smushing your dress after I told you not to. Whitney, mm. I need a piece of double stick tape. I'm the model. This is not so sticky. Have another piece ready for me. Honey, can you make this tape stickier? Careful with your head, Jay. Try not to do any was the abrupt name? movements. No, was it? Winnie, can you just get is. Colton's yeah. Converse and bring them to us? <laughs> I like that. I definitely didn't do that when you no, said that no. to me. I wouldn't be that disrespectful. You want to know how I would produce that moment? Mm -hmm. Like if I knew I wanted to get a Whitney's fed up moment, I'd be like, Whitney, do me a favor. We need to test something on the camera. Go stand by that tree and let us film you. And then I would just do it, do it for 10 minutes. And you'd be like, do we need to, like, do you guys need anything? Be like, oh, hang on, hang on. And you just be like, ah. Oh. Like, Are you glad you did That's this? the kind of stuff a TV yeah, producer would do. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's like She's an opportunity oh. that okay, can you stay and clean up? have. I just think you're lucky to be on. Her hair's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like how my hair after Coachella. <laughs> I don't know. It's just hard to do things for someone when they're not really like respecting your position. I know she's really good at her job. Maybe I'm just being a little pansy. I don't know. Oh, pansy. No, well, I mean, I haven't seen it, but I can't imagine that you're just making it all up. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to wear this dress. Yeah, that one looked really cute on you. If she gives you a preference or if you really don't feel comfortable on the other one, then speak up. Not that I should really be talking because I'm not really speaking up, but. Yeah. Ooh, it's just like when cute. you're the one in the clothes, you speak up. You've been well, hard on yourself for so long. I'm just ready to but like hold the reins, you know, like put my, I, I want to style and like I don't want to just be cutting tags off. That's she used to be yeah. Hannah Wintour's assistant, right? Yeah. So you know she's going through it. Obviously, I feel so lucky to have this job and. You know, it's it's what I want to do, but at the same time, like, as much as I love clothes, they're only clothes. I understand. Do you want us to start packing up anything, or? Um, Cause isn't this the last? Yeah. Let's keep all the accessories out. Let's pack up the girls' racks. Okay. Definitely pack up all the stuff we've already shot. Okay. Her hair is very And just to let you know, I don't mean to be difficult, but I have a um, like a farewell dinner for my sister tonight, so we have to leave once Jade is gone. Well, I'm gonna need you guys to stay and 
to help me pack up at the end of it. The dinner is at six over in, uh, over on the west side. Okay, well, I'm gonna need you to stay. Well, okay. I can do it if she needs to leave. Okay, well, it's I'll a lot. I'll do as much as I can. I know, but I mean, I don't mind staying a little later. Okay. Thank you. Tell me. So basically you, um, you know, when you do these kinds of things, like when you have a photo shoot, you get a call sheet or whatever. And I think MTV is probably who told me like what time we would be wrapping. And so it was a little bit unprofessional for me to have a plan, not knowing when the photo shoot was gonna be over. Um, but I feel like in that moment, I felt like I was only answering to MTV, and so I didn't really feel like there was a lot at stake if I told her that I had to right. go do something. Right. But I think I was also just getting to the point that day, I was frustrated. I think I was frustrated with just like being the intern, because I had done many internships before this, and I think I was getting to the point like, college was starting to come to a close and I was like, I need to think about what's the next step for me. And sh yeah. Got it. Hey. Hey, it's Adrena. How was the photo shoot today? It was good, it was when Whitney's little sister was in. Oh, Jade? Yeah, she's so cute. So guess what? Chris called and the guys want to go to Cafe Sushi tonight. Um, I promised Heidi I'd go to dinner with her because I haven't seen her in a while. Okay, Hello. well, Hello. maybe another night. This also sounds like Audrina's reading lines. Mm -hmm. I'll call you after dinner, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go meet her right now, so. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So it's like Lauren turned down a boy that she liked, which she clearly did not like, to be with Audrina. This, I mean, to be with, with Heidi. Heidi. This is mm -hmm. like... Too out of the realm of reality. Yeah, and so for people to get so worked up, mm -hmm. it's like, guys. Like, this is just a, this is just a take show. A, take a tea. Mm -hmm. Why is their apartment so clean? Yeah, where'd all she go? Heidi! <laughs> Who moved that printer? Heidi! Can we get um, a large popcorn? Red vines. Yeah, T -O -T -O -T -O. And a uh, bottle of water, please. Mm -hmm. Guys, please don't be. No, no, no. Nah, dude. Adrena? Hey. Let's go with that guy. I just got home, but Heidi's not here, so do you want to go to dinner still? Okay, I'll be there in a little bit. Nah, dog. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Is no, no, no. <laughs> Do not even add that to your equation. People should that not. That doesn't matter. Nah, That's dog. not the, part of the story. Because uh, 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 it didn't happen like that. Because it didn't happen. Like that. <laughs> all right. Next time on, we're. S this took an, an hour and a half to film this one episode. Bring no. out your I'm trying. You happy? Trying hard to keep her happy. You are who I'm in love with. Whoa! I thought she was doing like the hockey player. Don't even say goodbye. Great friends, right? Your best friend. Heidi came out to me on New Year's and was like, Spencer asked me to move in oh. with him. Bump she it low. No. All right, so just so you know, Damn. we watched those two episodes and then the audio was bad. So like, My bad. it's okay. All the, I don't know what it's going to be like when we rewatch those, but thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything you want to say? Anything you want to say about me? Um, 
You look hot. No, I like, like your I'm monochromatic an... outfit. Thank you. Okay, here's the deal. But like about defending like who I am and mm -hmm. like, you know. Yes, I do, I do, I do. You don't so, have to. I'm not saying you have to. People are going to be like, oh my God, she's just saying that because he... Cause I, well, I knew, I was, I was aware, I know how active you are reading the comments and I know that you're very invested because you have like a deep love for our community. I didn't know that it was like taking up an unhealthy spot in your brain or taking up too much time. It is. Um, and so I want, I don't want that for you. So I think t having healthy boundaries of that is necessary. And I think that's what I've I'm trying to work on for myself as well. Did you just puke I have like in, a you Cecil your, edamame you, shell, did, did, dried shell in my throat. Did you puke up a little speak. bit? <laughs> get it out, get it out, get it okay. out. We will not edit any, around any of that. Okay, anyways. Um, so I think being aware of that and creating healthy boundaries is very, very important. And I think, you, you know, you guys who have gotten to know Timmy over the past year know he's like all about truth and justice and like, wants to more than defend himself, like just defend what is the truth. And so he gets passionate about that. And sometimes I think like that's where some of these comments are coming from. Um, and I think that, that Do you that's, think that that's what I, I, yeah, I, 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 I mostly love that about him. I think it's a wonderful quality because the fact that he stands for like so much truth and justice just makes him a really good man. But I think sometimes passion can make that can, it can, I'm going on and on and on, but I think that some people then aren't reading it that way because he's so passionate and they take it out of context, out of proportion, see it in a different way, and then think what he's saying is invalid. Anyways, um, peace really in the streets, peace in the comments, peace. Yeah, good call. Peace. Among the community, all right? Just like peace everywhere. This is fun, it's a fun TV show. If it's not a fun TV show, like we'll just go to another fun TV show. Hopefully it gets, ugh, I don't know. I feel like we're about to get to the really intense part and then it's going to become light again when like Kristen comes on and like fun stuff. All we'll right? see, we'll, we'll see. see. Anyways, peace in the streets and peace in the comments.